You are now listening to Tech Talk, a Cato Kiowa Technology Center podcast. Enjoy. Hi, my name is Stacy Rep, and I'm the Student Services Director at Cato Kiowa Technology Center. I work alongside with Jolisa Naus, the counselor. Her and I are the CKTC Leadership Academy sponsors. Each episode, we're going to get to know our students a little bit better. Welcome back to another episode of Tech Talk. Today, we have Tristan Fogel. Tristan, will you go ahead and introduce yourself for us, please? Yeah, my name is uh, Tristan Fogel, and I come from, or I go to Anadarko High School, and I'm in uh, the computer support specialist class in building 500. Okay, so let's get to know you a little bit more. Dogs or cats? Oh, I have a cat at home. Okay, what's his name? Oh, Turbo. He's named after a snail, like the fast snail. Oh, nice. Yeah. What color is he? Orange. Is he he or she? He's a horn. He's an orange cat. He's a big boy. Okay. 18 pounder. (laughs) Oh my gosh. Ice cream or cake? Oh, I'm going, I'm going to go ice cream. Pizza or tacos? Ah, now you got me. Um, I would say some days, some days I'm a taco guy. But I'm going to go pizza today because we talked about it yesterday. Or somebody talked about it yesterday, and I was like, oh, I want pizza. It's making you hungry, huh? Okay, math or science? Ooh. Math. Or wait, no. Actually, let me just go back and think about how bad I did in, in what was that class? Algebra. And then I'm going to say I like zoology more, so I'm going to go science. Science, perfect. Yeah. So would you rather be the richest person in the world or the smartest? I'd rather go smartest because then you could be, then you could become rich kind of. And not worry about your math class? Yeah, definitely not worry about my math (laughs) class at that point. Okay, so what's your favorite meal? Favorite meal? Ah, (laughs) I would say my favorite meal is this like, like what are we talking meal? What's your favorite meal you have you eat or maybe like if you could go out to eat at a restaurant, what's the one thing uh, you always order? Have you had that, uh, what's that place? It's, uh, it's in Lawton and they like cook it right up in front of you and they always have these big... The Japanese steakhouse? I think it might be that. It's by like Atwoods or something like that. Not Atwoods. Uh, something. It's by something over there in Lawton. But it's like they cook it right in front of you and it's like... It's always like when you get it, you're like, dang, like you get it and they give, they start giving you the stuff and like you smell it right in front of you and you're just like. Is it like rice and steak? Yeah. And And it's got like eggs in the rice and Mm, it's like, you have to take like, I went there with, we went there with like, we went there and it was like everybody had to have a a box. It was. It is delicious. That's, That's one of my favorites too. So who's on your playlist? On my playlist, uh-huh. ah, this this is crazy. But I'm not. I don't listen to a bunch of people like or that's that's from here. You okay. know what I mean? Yeah. I listen to straight like. This is gonna be a niche group of people if they if they would happen to listen to this. But I listen to like stray kids. Okay, that's so. awesome. Got your own thing. That's awesome. So, are you involved in any clubs? Um, kind of just just fish club and then leadership. Okay. Any hobbies? Uh, I play guitar, you know, play it for my church Wednesday nights. We have a band out there so you at the student center. So you lead guitarist? Yeah, uh, most of the time I am. I'm kind of like, I feel like I'm kind of, I'm kind of one of the leaders of it because yeah. when me and one of my friends, we usually do it and she's kind of, she's a teacher, so she can't really decide all the time or she has to do stuff, you know, as a teacher should. Right. So we we kind of decide we're like what songs should we do today what songs should we do today and it's like we hear a song on the radio and we're like oh that would be good we haven't played that in a while or like we'll hear somebody start talking about this song like, hey have you heard this song and we're like oh we could play that tomorrow so do you can it's you like, like play it by ear or do you have to have the music in front of you like if it's if I'm learning something new, I just mostly try to play it by ear. But if I hear something and I play it wrong, then I'm like, oh, I have to go look at the music. I can't just, I can't just play it straight by ear most of the time. Okay, so let's talk about your classes at the tech center. What's your daily schedule or routine like? 
Yeah. Well, first, we walk in, and we get ready for everybody to get there. So we get we wait to get everybody there, and then most of the time it varies. So it's like one day, like yesterday, we took a laptop apart and put a new some new memory in it, and we figured out. Oh wait, this memory in this laptop is soldered in, so we can't get that out. And so we just had to add to it. Or some days it'll be like we're prepping for, we're helping other other classmates prep for a contest. Like they needed something to render on, and they don't want to just render it on their computers because they have other stuff to do. So there, we made some render farms, and we let them render on those separately, so their computer wouldn't be suffering while they while they had to do other stuff okay so what's your most favorite thing about your class mm. it, w- it would be destroying things and then building them back because <laughs> it's just that satisfaction of like look around this little room for this like teeny little screw for like how long do we sit there and wait look <laughs> it was had to have been like 10 minutes we were looking for this little screw did you ever find it we asked we asked we asked Mr. Wright, and he said, oh, yeah, we already had a screw out of it. So we looked for an invisible screw the entire time. It wasn't even there. So what's a phrase your teacher always uses? When, when we were taking that, that laptop apart yesterday, he was like, are you sure you got it in there right? So I'm going to say, are you sure? Are you sure? Okay, can you do impersonation of your teacher? <laughs> he, he has a way of saying it. He's like, well, there he, well, he doesn't say well, but he's like, if we just put it in, he'd be like, are you sure you checked it? Are you sure you, <laughs> are you sure you checked it? Are you sure you're sure? Yeah, it's like, is it going to work or is it not? Okay. <laughs> is what he's saying to put. So how does your teacher motivate you? Um, he wants us to do the most we can, like every day that we're there. And so he'll like, he'll say like, or we, we have, like, these daily logs, so we have to write down what we do every day. So I feel like that's part of some of the motivation that he kind of gives us. But then he also, like, gives us ideas on some stuff, like, kind of, like, to remind us and bring us back to from, like, what we what we were doing before. And then he's like, oh, yeah, remember, we were already doing this. Okay, so Let's maybe. just get back on, get back on topic, you know. Right, so he holds you accountable yeah. for your daily logs, and then you go back and reflect on what you did yeah. and where you need to go. Perfect. Okay, so are there any tips or tricks that you would tell a new student in your class? Um, kind of like we <laughs> – I've always summed it up like this. I don't know why, but we're like professional Googlers. Like if you need people to Google anything, you go to us because we can – like, it's just like Google's your best friend. Like, you can, like, look up, and or, like, YouTube, too. You could just find any video, and you have some guy taking apart something the exact way you're supposed to do it, and it's, like, so helpful. Good. So what's your plans after high school in tech? I would hope to at least go into, into like, the kind of, like, the IT field somewhere in there and just maybe... Cause me, I feel like I just want I just want to be a leader, honestly. And I feel like if uh, or if I if I was to go into one of those job places, I would just try to work my hardest to be become up to that leader point because it just sound it just sounds like you could just be like, hey, did you like? Then I could actually say it like, did you get this done? And are you sure? Yeah, and are you sure? Really? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so say you're 32 years old looking back. What would you tell yourself? What kind of advice would an older you give a younger you? For like right now? Mm-hmm. That would give me, an older me would give me something. Be more patient and eat more all the time. Because, you know, I'm like, I'm like 140. I don't, I don't weigh that much. So I feel like he would tell me, eat more so you don't have to eat more. When I get when I was up there, like at that age, yeah. because I feel like I probably wouldn't have the same. I wouldn't be a fast metabolism guy then. Go get you some more rice and steak. I know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I need some. No. Okay. So that wraps up another episode of Tech Talk. And don't forget. Are you sure? You-